Hey everyone and welcome to Talk Daily. My name is Eddie. Uh, uh, thanks for tuning in. Um, today's news is about Mazda and it's courtesy of Motor Trend and the Inevitable and the writer is Mr. Alex uh, Kristein. And uh, it's basically about the 2022 Mazda MX-30 with a rotary engine to extend its mileage. It's basically a hybrid vehicle with a rotary engine and it's great news for us who love rotary. So Thank you, Mazda, for um, taking on this engineering feat and pulling it through. Um, it's happening. Uh, so according to Mr. Alex, if you are a fan of Mazda, unconventional approach to damn near everything from, uh, from the wacky uh, Sky Active uh, compression ignition engine tech to the legendary Wankler rotary that the company perfected before abandoning, then you'll be pleased to hear its most famous non-piston engine is returning as a range extended for the range challenge MX-30 ESUV. And he's saying for real and as an asterisk in limited volume for 2022. So it is a limited volume, but a it's wonderful. The rotary range extended has been rumored for ages and even confirmed officially before backing in 2020. But the company has paused its rollout before back in July. The rotary range extender was paused indefinitely Usually an indication that a dark cancellation cloud could be gathering. Um, again, you know, making the rotary, if you're not aware of the rotary engine, uh, I'll show a couple of shots here um, because Mazda is patenting it. So um, again, this article also from Motor Trend um, and it's written by Mr. Justin Banner, writer, manufacturer, illustrator. Anyway, so um, uh, this is basically talking about Mazda patent hint at hybridization of three rotary and rear wheel drive something. And... Um, uh, there's a couple of pictures showing you the here go that's so those are the three rotaries and you have a transmission in the back and there's some like hybrid maybe electrical battery maybe electric motors in the front right here for the braking and maybe an electric motor um they don't go on details as far as the um the specific layout is concerned but if that might be something that we present in well you guessed it the c3 the mx30 um, it goes on saying it looks like the, they're talking about like the fact that we're able to figure out how to use it. Um, but, uh, I'm not quite sure yet what fuel is going to be using. Um, we don't know if it's going to be using hy uh, hydrogen or is going to be using conventional fuel. We don't know yet. So you see, he said he's talking about the fact that there's no details currently available, but we know they're making it. So it says, anyone who's seen the uh, i3 REX in range extended mode knows that something a little... Uh, he knows that basically what he's saying, that the original layout, uh, the vehicle has a very hard time, you know, limping. Uh, it doesn't have a lot of power because the current uh, power terrain in it is not sufficient enough. So that's what I'm trying to add the rotary to it. So he concludes by saying, we will not be surprised if the range extender closely resembled the setup that Mazda testing in Japan on local market Daimyo. Mazda 2 a few years back but in the state Mazda hasn't sold the rotary engine since the RX-8 went out of production I love the RX-8 uh, what it ends up being or how compelling the package will be we're gonna see so uh, again the, they don't give up a lot of uh, a lot of information which is understandable okay these are uh, these I mean here's a vehicle that's uh, gonna be having that power terrain um it's it's a it's a pretty design man I mean look at it it's it's unconventional it's cute um is different i like the suicide door um uh, i mean whether practical or not it kind of looks like an rx8 door honestly but no look, look at that gentleman and uh that this lady looked very happy they look very pleased with the vehicle very pleased oh look at them again with the car uh again the car looks chic it looks nice i, I can't really fault it I, I like that little door because uh technically it's pretty much a two-door car but you have the four door when you want it look at the interior again that's currently that's the mazda layout but that's pretty. I mean, I don't know if you remember back in the day with the BMW iDrive, but the the center console when you have the little instrument uh, selector, it, it's pretty. I mean, you got bows. It, it it looks like a beautiful place to be in. It kind of looks comfortable. I don't know how supportive the seats are, but hey, I mean, for the price you're getting, uh, this is kind of like uh, average uh, um, seat. I haven't sat in it. I mean, the, the back's even having a look at it. Um, and there you go. Here's the charging and... Um, it, it's it's all electric currently but we don't know i mean how are they gonna do how do you go to sky active the uh if you don't know what how the sky active is it's basically compression ignition um i'll make another video about it at some point um but think about it kind of like a little bit like a diesel uh but not exact 
Um, again, I just like it. it looks chic. I like the tail light. They kind of a little bit there's a, a Miata uh, theme to them. That's why the batteries are stacked in this vehicle. Low center of gravity. Um, so that's the there you go. That's the the brain for it. That's all the wiring. It just um, again. I mean, it's it's good to see Mazda going in this direction and um, i can't wait if honestly if they're gonna have a rotary because with the way it's supposed to uh, lay the layout is that rotary is gonna be between uh well behind the front axle and the transmission is gonna be uh, behind the the rear axle so everything gonna be in the center it's almost like a midship o almost almost okay it's not and again it's not performance don't don't get it uh, don't get it wrong it's not really designed for performance see how clever the design is when they're putting including all the batteries and uh, and here's a structural um reinforcement obviously for all this heavy weight batteries and see where it's bolted on to the actual chassis itself um and I like those kind of shots. I mean, if you look in, uh, if you want to understand how your car works, if you want to understand why uh, I mentioned one of my other videos, if you get a front end collision and uh, the car is salvaged, and why would it be salvaged? Because this is a crumble zones, right? If you look in the front, no sort of wheel arch, that's the fender. And if you look closely over here to the left hand side, you can see that this zone, when this thing crushes, uh, that you, there's no repairing it. This is a one piece solid metal, unless you're going to rivet and reseam weld those components. Um, some people could do it, but it's just, you know, I can you imagine getting hit in other areas? So, um, you know, just, um, again, this subject is not about, you know, a collision, but it just gives you an idea. I, I like, I see how things work and this is a beautiful shot, uh, showing you the, uh, the internal structure of the skeleton of the vehicle. Um, so yeah, in conclusion, the rotary Mazda has patented. Uh, there is a patent going on with the rotary. Look at this beautiful shot. I'll show a couple of pictures of it. Uh, it just shows the illustration currently. It shows that uh, beyond illustration that is now, oh, I'm going to read a little bit off of it. It says the, there's basically housing describing the oil passage and the engine itself. The Mazda patent describe how the setup will work, explaining it illustrated the motor drive unit, particularly a range. So I'm not going to read it phrase by phrase, but it looks like a 20B. If you don't know what a 20B is, the 20B is the rotary motor, the REW, the it's a three rotary, uh, very famous uh, engine in this, in the, in the FC, in the FD, etc. Um, no, I, you know, it was twin rotor. The 20B rotary was in the Cosmo, if not mistaken. I'll take that back. I believe the 20B was in the Cosmo. Uh, Cosmo got with uh, triple rotors. The rest had twin rotors. Um, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll double check on that. But yeah, see, there you go, the Cosmo. There you go, there you go. Yeah, I still remember something. I still remember something. Yeah, it was in the Cosmo. The, so the, the FC, the FD had it, um, two uh, rotaries, not three. Um, but yeah, again, they uh, they don't really describe specifically what's going to be. There. There's a lot of photos, but again, there's no description, unfortunately, specifically uh, saying what they can use it for. And here you go regarding the clean burning fuel, such as hydrogen. They don't mention it. So it's even as a hybrid power terrain, we'd imagine that running a rotary engine is still an emission intensive process when using gasoline. Uh, however, if using a cleaner burning fuel such as hydrogen, some of those issues could be possibly solved while the electric motor could make up for the rotary's traditional weak, low RPM torque. If you're not familiar, rotaries don't really generate a lot of torque down below. And I mean, not a lot. Basically, it's not like the engine is, uh, it doesn't, you know, unable of making it or makes a very small number like 50. No, it, it does, but it's not going to give you uh that torque until you're like at 4000 5000 rpm it's, it's, it's kind of high revving engine but that's the beauty of it um if you have a rotary or, and you know a lot about rotary mention in the comment below let us know uh i love it uh i love rotaries i think they are uh really not um uh, unfortunately get a, a lot of fame as a you know uh, as they should uh they have a lot of yeah there's some uh, apex seals have issues but I think Rotary is some wonderful, very, very unique vehicle. It's almost like the air-cooled engines. Uh, to me, there's air-cooled engine, there's rotaries, and then there's the conventional engines. Um, uh, those are just wonderful design, very unique. Uh, obviously, it's not all about power and speed, but it's just the uniqueness. It's all the way up there in my book. A rotary is so unique. And when you see it in person, and if you're a gearhead and you see a rotary, you see how small it is and how compact it's. It's kind of refreshing when you when you see it compared to a traditional engine. Um, so anyway, so yeah, the uniqueness of um, rotary, air-cooled, and a boxer engine than your traditional engine. That's 
the listing according to me anyways um i hope uh this uh this news uh, got you as excited as i did um i mean i love rory and hopefully uh it will uh, i mean it, it is coming for to talk about 2022 you're gonna see some of them on the road in this format so with that i'm gonna leave it out there maybe you're gonna have a new rx7 maybe with a hybrid who knows who knows um all right this uh, ends today's uh story uh um eddie and once again thanks for watching if you like this content if you enjoy it if you have any comment whatsoever please put on the comments below i would love to hear from you everybody and uh if you like please uh, subscribe to the channel we're gonna have new videos updated almost daily we'll do our best thanks for watching again take care see you next time bye bye